the fat, it's normally in your back, in your stomach, in uh-huh. your sides. If I take all of that money that, you know, that you have all over, yeah. and you just put it in the butt, it's natural. It's yours. Okay. All right. I it's, mean, it's I like how you put it, you know. It's, <laughs> it's my fat. It's mine. I'm you not just adjusting it. it. Yeah, you don't want to waste it. You just want to adjust it. Exactly. Hey, what name of this f-ing show? I Talk Great. I Talk Great. Is your hair thinning and not growing back to its fullest potential? Well, let me refer you to the Action Hair Care products, right? Angie and her daughter, Allie, has 21 plus years of experience and they specialize in hair growth products, customized hair color, deep moisturizing treatments, and updated hair care routines that are natural and cruelty free. So if you don't want to end up like me, let me tell you what you do. They're going to promise to give you the best experience for full potential for hair growth, right? So get your papers and pens out right now, and I need you to head over to www.actionhaircareproducts.com. I'm going to say it again, www.actionhaircareproducts.com. And if you're local and you're in the area, you can head over to Deco Drive Beauty Supply in Miramar Parkway, Florida. Also, L.A. Beauty Supply in North Lauderdale, Florida. White Diamonds Beauty in Fort Pierce. So if you're in that area, head out there to White Diamonds Beauty. And Glam's Beauty Supplies in Port St. Lucie. So let them know Mr. Williams from I Talk Great sent you. Now back to the episode. Yeah. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Williams, I Talk Great, where we talk about the gray areas of business because it's never just black and white. I am here today with Ari Guerra. (laughs) Did I get that right? Yes, you Uh, did. Okay, okay, okay. Where is that last name from? Cuba. Cuba. Yes. Okay, okay. So we have some Cuban going on in here in the building. I am. Oh. Born and raised. Oh, wh- really? Okay, so how long have you been over here? 30 years. Okay, 30 years. So you you got a, a yank now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So are you rooted in the culture? Of Cubans, yes. Yes. Okay, so what's your favorite dish to cook? Come on, man. We gotta, we gotta, we we gotta know. Well, my favorite dish to cook is just rice, beans, and actually breaded steak. Okay, breaded steak. You know, yes. I think I had that. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if La Granja sell that. That's why. La Granja doesn't because La Granja is actually Peruvian. Oh, okay, okay. No, you're right. She had to La correct carreta. me. Like, okay, <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So I'm gonna say hola, you know. Como estas? Um, muy bien. No, is it muy bien or bien? Muy bien. Oh, muy bien. Always. Okay. okay, okay. You know, I'm learning poquito. You know what I mean? All right, all right, all right. So w- when you got here, right? So, you know, we got to go back to the beginning. How'd you get here? What made you even come here? Tell us I, a little bit. Actually, I came here in 90, um, 94 with both of my parents and my baby sister. Okay. We came in a raft. Yes. Really? Yes. Um, we came in a makeshift raft. Oh, so you mean a raft? Like y'all was like r- rowing over here? Well, not rolling. Um, of course, we were able to get like a motor and put it on the raft. And we entered by Duquesa um, Marquesa I, um, Key by Key West. Wow. Yes. So and we were rescued. We were rescued by Coles. Um, we were rescued by a caravan uh-huh. uh, when we can, came in to Marquesa um, Key mm-hmm. and then were taken in with the Coast Guard in Key West. And they were able to process us and everything. Wow. Okay. All right. So let's try to look at this a different way all right so was it was something crazy going on in cuba for, for, the, for the reason why you guys just left out like that yes um overall cuba has a very bad um political situation and mm. my my mom and my dad they never thought that my sister and i had a future over there okay 
So they decided to risk not only their life, but also our lives and bring us here for a better future. My, we left everybody. We left everything and everyone behind. It was just when we got here um, in March 19, 1994, it was mm -hmm. just, it was just the four of us and a sister that my dad hadn't seen in 14 years. Wow. So he just pulled up on her like, hey, what's um, up? Yeah. When we got here, it was, it was funny because we knew her, um, her telephone number. My dad called and he's like, hey, I'm, I'm here. She's like, here where? Mm -hmm. And she's like, okay, here where? Oh, we're in Key West. You need, um, it's, This place no longer exists. It's it uh -huh. was called La Casa del Barcero, yeah, which is the house of, um, like the rafters. Okay, it was in Key West, and my aunt had to drive all the way from Miami Lakes to Key West wow. to be able to pick us up because that's where we, that's where we were processed. Immigration, co um, custom, everything. That's where we were processed in Key West. So what were you guys given? Like, I mean, did you guys have like, uh, I don't know, a social or did they, how did that work? Well, when you come in, what they, the first thing that they just give you is a shower, food, and then you have to go in and present yourself to the social security services. Mm -hmm. Then you have to go to, it used to be, now it's um, DCF before it was, Um, children and family. Okay. I know children and family. Yeah. I had children and family back in the day. Yeah. Um, okay. It was children and family so that they could help you with assistance, uh, food stamps, the real food stamps that were the paper ones. Oh, so you had the money food stamps. Yeah. Okay. The monopoly money food <laughs> okay, stamps. Okay. Okay. Hey, them things came in handy. Oh, yeah, they did. Um, okay. And they give you some sort of assistance and then... Um, you know, job placement, trying to get, you know, into the system. Kind of overall, they put you in the system, then they try to help you with getting a higher education and finding you a job. Okay. But but when you got here, how, how old were you? I was only eight. You was, okay. So how long did it take you to learn English? It took us about a year Well, it took me about a year and a half. Um, it wasn't until my sixth grade here in the U.S. that mm -hmm. I came out of ESO, which is English as a Second Language. Mm. Okay. So for the first two years, I was I knew barely anything and just cartoons help a lot. Cartoons. Okay, yes. okay, okay. So how was school like for you? Was it? Did you do any school in Cuba? Yes. Okay, so how was that, like, transference? Well, to be honest, math, I was at super advanced. Ah, But, okay, so we dumb um, over here then. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just, um, I guess the regiment has a little bit of more of a higher education um, when it comes to okay. um, math. But I knew absolutely nothing in social studies because... The schooling in the in Cuba is very doctored. Mm, okay. Oh, the Yankees are horrible. Okay. Yankees are us, you know, the ones that we're celebrating tomorrow. Ah, Yankees, okay. US. Oh, the gringos? Oh, that's what they call? No, they call you Yankee. Really? Yes. That's crazy because my parents are from Trinidad, right? Yeah. And then when I do go back home, shall I say, they call me Yankee boy. Yeah. Well, Yankee boy. Because remember, it's the Yankees. Um, the Yankees is when you go back into, you know, U.S. history, Yankee. Um, oh no, nah, I ain't past history. All right, you got. <laughs> you see, that's why. That's why you I probably know more learn, than me. <laughs> I had to learn a little bit of, you know, U.S. history and okay. science. All right, all right. So let's fast forward up a bit. You know, that was good to get that backstory about you, right? So high school. Did you do anything after that or college? I actually went to college. I got my accounting degree in, okay. um, for Miami-Dade. I was an account manager and auditor. 
Wow, okay. That girl's smart. She's got an account, accountant degree. Yes. All right. But what made you wanted to get in that field? Because you was so it's, good at math? Because I was good at math. And when you're Hispanic or when you come from the island, mm-hmm. you, you need to have a degree. Period. Really? You you're, think so? Oh, come on. Island, island parents. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Island okay, parents, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Island parents, you, you could be... Whatever you want, as long as you bring me, bring them that diploma for them to hang yeah. there and brag to all their friends. Yeah, yeah. You, you better do it. Okay, no, if you're no, from no. the islands. You, you no, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. So, how do we go from accounting? Because now we know you're the massage queen, right? How did? Yes, we, we gotta we gotta get into that, right? <laughs> how did you go from accounting into the massage world? Well, it was, it's kind of a personal, it was kind of a personal thing. Um, Mm -hmm. My grandmother actually got sick and I started taking her to get lymphatic massages Mm. to help with her um, ailment. Okay. And I fell in love with massages. I've always been very um, hands-on. Touchy, touchy? Yes. uh, You know, if... You had a headache, mm-hmm. you know, the, the little trigger points. And, you know, if your shoulder hurts, let me let me put on some Vicks and, mm-hmm. you know, the Chinese ointment so that it goes away. But it was it only became a passion after I saw how much I could change someone's life by doing these massages. Okay. All right, so it was a personal thing for you. It was very personal. Okay, but I could see you definitely came a long way. So let me ask you a question, right? How do you structure your day to ensure that it's set up for success? First thing I do is I wake up. I thank God because I'm alive. And this has, yeah, this has more than one meaning for me. Mm -hmm. And we'll get um, into that a little bit when... We go into the tape. Yes, but, yes. Um, overall, I surround myself with successful people and people who have are are like minded mm-hmm. and want to succeed and want to go forward. Okay. Structuring my day, it's I have the same amount of time that everybody else does. I just try to make minds as productive as possible. Yes. I. I love TV, don't get me wrong, because yeah. it's my best friend, <laughs> but getting up and, you know, looking at my emails, looking at what I didn't accomplish yesterday and what I can tackle right away and phone calls. I have conference calls in my car a lot. Wow. Okay. I do a lot of business out of my car because, like we spoke um, earlier, yeah. I live kind of far. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> hey, that drive, like I said, I have I have the same amount of time that everybody else does. Mm-hmm. So I need to make my time worth my while. No, facts, facts, facts. It, okay. You know, being on the being on watching Netflix while I drive or listening to the radio, it's good when I need to unwind, but yeah. if I could get to speak to someone mm-hmm. and move something forward, I'm all for it. Okay. She making sure she get things done. No, I like that. Are you a business owner, entrepreneur, entertainer, and you got a story to tell? You want to get your brand out there to the world? Well, you reach the right place. Let's set up an exclusive interview between me and you. I talk great, and we're going to go ahead and get your brand out there to the world. But here what you do. Go ahead and send me an email with the words gray at italkgraymedia at gmail.com. See you soon. So since you're in the field, right, of the massages, right, of massaging, what are some routines that you have for self-care? I actually use a lot of stretching. My diet and exercise regimen, um, stretching is very important to me because Mm -hmm. it aligns my entire body. Okay. Like yoga? I Or Pilates? I do more of Pilates. Mm Mm-hmm. And stretch just for my own awakening, kind of like okay. just before I get off of 
uh, out of my bed. Mm-hmm. I stretch just to open up everything. Okay. But I was doing my due diligence on you. You've had your own transformation because you like a totally different person based upon, I don't know, was, was this last year or the year before? The year before. Yeah, like, so was that was Health that related. diet or was that surgery? Um, I actually had, um, to be honest, I had surgery 11 years ago. Okay. I had, I had plastic surgery 11 years ago. Mm-hmm. And that's when I kind of fell in love with the whole um, surgery community. Okay. But my big change came from actual health. I got a very huge health scare. Ah, um, okay. And that made me change. I was very healthy. I was, I can't say I was very healthy. I was healthy, you know, as far as my, all my blood work and everything. Okay. But I was not in a good weight or health. Um, I was not as healthy as I needed to be. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm trying to find, I don't want to say the wrong Oh, yeah, thing. I, I was fat. No, 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 no. I wouldn't say that. I mean, you were top heavy, mm-hmm. right? But I do know women have to go through those kind of like surgeries if because, you know, it could be a lot of pressure on the back, you know. But you didn't, you wasn't like, he- I guess not oh, in okay. my eyes. Okay. But I definitely see the major transformation. As I was scrolling down the ground, I'm like, yo, hold on. It's just a, it's a to- you're a totally different woman. Yes. Okay, all right. I'm actually getting, I'm, I'm fixing those. Um, you know, at the end of the year, fixing when you say fix. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, you know, okay. I, you, are you adding more back, or are you? Because now you don't, you don't seem as, you know, voluptuous as. I am actually. I am getting a breast reduction. Okay. Yeah, I just hide really. Um, I know how to hide my flaws. Ah, you know how to nip and tuck and. and Oh yeah, I know how to hide. I know how to hide (laughs) things with. I know how to, you know, work my body to look good in clothing. Okay, okay. No, well, you do, and and you could see just from watching you on the gram, you're not shy with because I see you use yourself a lot as like. uh, Sorry, I'm trying to find the right word. Yes, a model. I am. I am. Because I'm very open with everything that I have done. Mm -hmm. Because if I want people to be open with me, I think that I should be open with everybody. I, it has never been any um, kind of stigma in the fact of getting plastic surgery. I had it done 11 years ago. I had amazing care and that's what got me into being able to take care of girls. Um, so I am, and actually today was funny because we did a live and I saw you. we had, we had one of our, one of our employees was going to do it. And when mm-hmm. I told her, okay, you, you need to put small shorts. Oh my God. She put on her clothes really quickly. I was like, <laughs> you gotta pay me to put on my clothes, not to take them off. I'm, like, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. I, because if I could help w- women feel comfortable with their body, mm-hmm. I know I have my flaws. But and if I could f- make women feel good about their body, mm-hmm. I will feel even better. Okay, I saw another post that you had up, right? And you said that uh, a BBL isn't fake. No, right? Okay, so. Kind of explain what is a BBL and like what did you mean like by that? Okay, well, the post is BBL is not fake because nothing is being implanted that is not it's not an implant. Mm-hmm. Nothing is being put in your in your body that is not naturally there. Okay, that's one. Um, a BBL is a Brazilian butt lift. It's lipo three hundred and sixty. Um, all around your entire torso, and then it's moved to um, the glutes. It's transferred, the the fat is centrifuged, and it's implanted into, it's put in to the glutes to make them more voluptuous. 
Okay. And now, in my analogy is, it's just like moving money from your savings account to okay. your savings account. It's okay. still mine. <laughs> it's still mine. Okay. The, okay. Okay. The fact, tell me if it's- I'm your listening. Money, your money, if you have 10 grand in yeah. your savings account, mm-hmm. and you move it to your- um. To your checking account. Yeah. Doesn't it stay, isn't it yours? Yeah, it's my money. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. The fat, it's normally in your back, in your stomach, in uh-huh. your sides. If I take all of that money that, you know, that you have all over, yeah. and you just put it in the butt, it's natural. It's yours. Okay. All right. I mean, it's, it's I like how you put it, you know. It's my fat. <laughs> it's, my fat. it's mine. I'm you not just adjusting it. it. Yeah, you don't want to waste it. You just want to adjust it. Exactly. Okay. All right. All right. But what about those women that you see that do that? And then now they say, oh, well, join my fitness plan and you can lose weight in six weeks and da 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 da. What do you think okay, about I that? I think that's BS. Okay. That's one. Um, well, if you. If you are going in for plastic surgery, plastic surgery is not a total fix. Mm -hmm. And I actually am partnering up with a fitness guru, somebody who is very fitness and she is very aware with health and fitness so that we could get after surgery so that the girls don't, um, don't gain that weight back. Okay. Plastic surgery is only, it's, Instant gratification. Mm -hmm. Um, All of the fat that was in your stomach, now it's on your butt. Now you have a nice butt. Now you have a flat stomach. Now you have nice waist. But if you do not continue in a way that you're using your garment and you're controlling what you eat, you will get fat again. Remember, those fat cells that they move the, um, the particles of fat that they removed from your stomach Mm -hmm. and they put it on your butt, Mm -hmm. but they still leave fat cells. So when you Mm. do get fat, those fat cells will even be more engulfed. So now you have bigger lumps of fat that are going to be even harder for you to lose after surgery. Oh, wow. Okay. So you still got to hit the gym. You can't just go back to the Mickey D's and the, uh, checkers you, well if you want to if you want to look like the michelin man <laughs> go ahead if you want to look like miss michelin we we good okay but now that fat is it's in your glutes mm-hmm. you're going to get it's going to get bigger but if you start to gain weight wherever that um that surgery and that fat was not sucked out, Mm -hmm. you will get it. This is why most of the time we see women that get bigger arms, their face gets Mm. really round. Yeah, they have a snatched waist and a flat stomach, but now mm, they got big old arms and the face gets round because Mm -hmm. you gain weight. It's very easy. Weight is very easy to get to be gained, but not to be lost. Man, who you telling? You know, I've been trying to lose it oh. forever. <laughs> Especially when you start hitting the forty mark, you know it don't it don't after fall th- off. After thirty, it doesn't it yeah. doesn't walk off anymore. It don't fall off after that. Oh my God, no. So do you think that. like all this surgery women receive? Right? Do you think it's like rooted in insecurities a bit? No. No. Okay. I don't think. I don't think that surgery is for insecure women. I do I do believe that there are insecure women that think that surgery is going to fix their problem, but remember a lot of um a lot of us that do have surgery, we do it to look better. We mm-hmm. want to look better for ourselves. We want to look better for to to show our kids, hey, especially if you have girls, okay. hey, you could be beautiful. And if mom didn't make you with a small waist, it's okay. You you work hard. Yeah. You get your money, and we could get it there. <laughs> she said, "You work hard, you get your money. You get your money." So it's like a cheat code. It is, but I don't think it's rooted in insecurity. I do okay. think that, as a matter of fact, I think that for a woman to have surgery, they have to be very secure because 
you go through so much emotionally mm. after surgery. It's just, right. it's hard because like said, beauty it, is pain, right? Beauty is pain and money too. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I also see here, right? As I was researching, you came up with a method, yes. right? It's called the tape method. It's called the surgical recovery tape method. Okay. I actually invented it and patented it. Yes. What? I, I am the proud owner of the surgical recovery tape method. And I was given that um, patent in January 12, 2021. Wow. I've been working on it since, ni- um, since 2017. Okay. And... On 2019, I submitted my patent. Mm -hmm. It took me two years explaining, sending um, reviews and everything into the U.S. Patent Office. And I was given the patent in 2021. Because remember, COVID hit. COVID hit and everything was just pushed back. Yeah, no. Man, who are you telling? I know. So where were you when this idea came into your head? Actually, after four years, um, like I was telling you before, I mm-hmm. had surgery in, in 2011. Okay. After that, I fell in love with the you um with the whole plastic surgery community mm-hmm. and helping people um to do it. Okay. In 2017, after a friend of mine had, in 2014, I had a health scare, huge health scare, and this was, this was a kind of an empowerment for me to do i started working with i started working with the tape with rock tape itself when i worked with a chiropractor as a massage therapist Mm. and i saw how much good it does with inflammation and um, mobility so when i had a health scare of myself i needed to leave something that will give me kind of give my daughter a perspective of your mom was a badass. Yeah. (laughs) I was diagnosed with um, nine breast tumors. Oh, wow. And I wanted to do something that left um, a legacy and left something for my daughter to say, like I said, your mom was a badass. My mom was doing her thizzle. Yes. Okay. I wanted her to be proud to say, my mom's no longer here, um, and this is what she did. This is a legacy. This is something that she did. And I went on to seeing how I could help women that were in a vulnerable place mm-hmm. because I was in a very vulnerable place. I was in a very vulnerable stage in my life yeah. that I couldn't, I didn't have control. And after surgery, like I said, it's an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. And those women do not have control of what's going on. So if I could give back a little bit as well as when the doctors tell you, oh, you need a tummy tuck. Oh, um, your your skin is going to sag and you're not going to, it's not going to retract the right way or you're not going to look this way. And you have people, naysayers coming for you. I wanted to give back to those women so that those naysayers could shut up. Yeah, no, I saw some of your before and afters of other clients and I'm, I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. It looked like it was working. It does. I um I actually spent four years developing it. Wow. I spent exa- I spent four years putting everything together and yeah. researching every brand of kinesio tape. Mm-hmm. Um, this is what I use. Um, normally everybody is like rock tape, rock tape, mm-hmm. because that's the brand of tape that I use the most. Mm-hmm. Um, after testing probably over two hundred different brands and different strands of tape, different colors, different strands, different um, kind of like the the chemistry of the adhesive and Mm -hmm. researching all of that and putting it on different skins because Mm -hmm. not everybody's skin is the same. Not every um, people that are more melanin enriched Mm -hmm. than others 
have a tendency to maybe have oilier skin or women that are more that are Caucasians, they sweat more. Okay. So after trying out a lot of different strands, that's how I came up with the tape method. Okay. Did you have, like, while you was coming up with the tape method, did you have, like, I don't want to say test dummies, but... I did. Okay. Oh, yeah. I I tested on every one of my friends that say, hey, can I do it? Yeah. Um, I didn't until I did not have a patent that I put in to the U.S. patent office, mm-hmm. I didn't start using it on actual clients and getting monetary compensation. Mm. So I spent a lot of money researching and a lot of, they were not test dummies. They were beautiful women that needed a little help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's a better word. I saw you got kicked out of a Zoom call because oh, you yeah. said you got your own patent. Yes. Why do you think that was though? Because I'm very vocal about it due to the fact that not many people um, know that I actually invented this method. Mm. It's everybody, it's called surgical recovery. It's not called tape method. It's called surgical recovery. Okay. Because that's what the, that's the name that the U.S. Patent Office gave, gave me. It's Mm -hmm. called surgical recovery. But everybody, it's much easier to just call it tape method. Yeah. And now I, we have so many people trying to do it, mimicking it, and without so, giving you your credit. Nobody be giving you no credit for me. Wow. I had I had one girl tell me when I told her, hey, you know, I invented this method. She's like, then Nike is the only one that's allowed to have um, sneakers. I was like, yeah, if you want to call With a your check t- on it. I was like, if you want to call yourself Fila or Fubu, it's okay. Nike is just do it. Yeah. So I yeah, guess yeah. I'm Nike. <laughs> Nike. Exactly. Nike good. Yes, yes. Nike of the tape method. I know. Okay, so how soon can a client receive the method after surgery? It has to be a minimum of 72 hours due to the fact that the um, everything doesn't go back to normal and your your blood cells do not start to regenerate after uh, until you are 72 hours. Okay. In between 48 and 72 hours is when um, the actual anatomically correct mm-hmm. way way of it. Okay. With anatomy and you know the anatomy and physiology of the body is yeah. minimum of 48 to to 72 hours. Now with the not everybody is the same. This is not a cookie cutter, and I tell this to people all the time, and this is why we don't have a video that tells you how to put the tape on mm-hmm. because it's not a cookie cutter. Not everybody's skin is the same. Not everybody's sagginess, oh, sure. um, level of sagginess is the same. So we don't do cookie cutters. But you would have to be the one administering the tape. Like I somebody actually, can't just buy it at home and start going like I actually do FaceTimes. I do FaceTimes. Um, oh, okay. I do a lot of FaceTimes. So they can get the tape they could from get the you. Tape. They could get and... the tape. I'm I'm an open book. Okay. I don't I don't want them to get the tape from me. I do have them in my office for those that want to go purchase it in my office. But I will give you the link to Amazon. Amazon is everybody's best friend. Really? Yeah. So you're giving out the sauce. You didn't Hold on. So you patented the method. method. You didn't patent like the material that it costs i mean that it that you have to use to put it on yeah i patent the method oh okay so how come you didn't like patent like the actual material why because that's what it seemed like the- um because to me it's more about making a change and not making a profit everybody wants okay. to don't get me wrong i i want to be rich yeah come on yeah everybody yeah. every like everybody likes money um i like I like good things. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you went through my my page, you see that I yes. dress nicely and I love yes. I, I love my shoes. Um, <laughs> many of my girls know my signature red bottoms. Yes, <laughs> red but, bottoms. Okay. I, I I like I like nice things, but yes. to me, it's more about giving women that power back mm. to be able to help you. Okay. It's um, all right. And 
I don't need to patent them. Um, I don't need to patent the the actual tape. The mm-hmm. tape was actually invented in 1970 by a Japanese chiropractor. Okay. And after that, it has been developed and watered down and moved. It has, like I said, I have tested, I tested over 150 different brands of oh, wow. tapes when I was, um, when I was doing the research to patent the tape, mm-hmm. um, the method, I tried over 150, um, 150 different brands of tape. Oh, wow. Okay. And, but to me, it's the method. It's what's working. Yeah. The method. It's what needs. I will give you, I will give you the ingredients and I'll teach you how to do the sauce with the FaceTimes. Okay. Are you a business owner, entrepreneur, entertainer, and you got a story to tell? You want to get your brand out there to the world? Well, you reach the right place. Let's set up an exclusive interview between me and you. I talk great, and we're going to go ahead and get your brand out there to the world. But hear what you do. Go ahead and send me an email with the words gray at italkgraymedia at gmail.com. See you soon. So do you have like, is that like a separate service for you? Like the coaching, like yes. walking people through it? Yes. Okay, I, okay. They do a one-on-one. I literally sit there. I dedicate 30 minutes, sometimes even an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. I've had ladies that don't understand and will go back. It's okay. It's your time. And I'm dedicated to working for them because... Like I tell them in, when they come into my office and I mm-hmm. do their tape, if you look good, I look even better. So hey. I, need to make, I need to make them look good yeah. so that I look better because yeah. now not only do I look like, hey, I, you love me after five days when you take this tape off, yeah. you feel good and you're going to recommend me. You're going to, word of mouth is very important. No, yes. No, that is so true. So and Referrals. Referrals. And if you tell me, that I did good with you, Mm -hmm. you're going to tell your sister, your friend, normally. Yes, yes, yes. Let's let's be realistic. Normally. Okay. Someone who's grateful, and if they post it, they give me the credit. Okay. So you're getting your riches in other areas, but you're still doing your thing. So how do you come up with your prices, though, for your services? I actually haven't changed my prices, believe it or not, since... um, 2018. What? Yeah. So how you staying in? Because I know you have your own facility now. Yes. In the beginning, it looked like you was, you know. You, you I was, was traveling. Yeah, mm-hmm. door to door. Yes. So how you staying afloat if you haven't adjusted your prices? Because I I try. I've had really good vendors. And I I will be raising my prices because even those vendors are going out of business. Mm-hmm. But I have. I don't try to make a profit out of everybody. If I could do something good, Miami, it's a horrible place. And I, I, I'm I, sorry to say it. <laughs> Miami, it's a horrible, horrible place. Everybody wants to make a buck. Yeah. Um, We have. But you created something. Like, you're not just, you know, mom and pop. Like, you put your hours in, your sweat equity. You did your due diligence. You said you spent a lot of moolah. Yes. So, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say you would be wrong if you attached, you know, a certain price point. So how much does it cost to get that treatment? Um, The tape is only $75. Yes. <laughs> but, but you know what? Okay. Hey, because everybody try to get on Walmart. Yes. Well, Walmart make money. Yeah. So would you consider yourself more like in that arena versus Louis of it? I actually, I think... Some people actually say I'm expensive. I had seventy five dollars. That ain't nothing. Uh, and ninety five dollars for a massage, mobile. You charge ninety five dollars for a massage? Yes, for a mobile massage. What? Exactly. Massage girl, I got you. I mean, one fifty. Well. And you bring in your table and everything. Yes. I'm gonna have to hit you up. Like, y- well. We actually have we actually have eight therapists, um, eight therapists that are mobile, um, and three in the office, and my myself that I just jumped from anywhere. 
I jump wow. everywhere. So are you more specialized just in the lymphatic and your team handles like other types of massages? Like what do you guys specialize in the most? We specialized in everything. So Swedish, my, my, deep tissue. My my team is a very versatile um, bunch. Mm-hmm. We do continue educations all the time. I do bring my team back mm-hmm. into the office to get refresher course on how to do the post op and how to do the massages, like okay. the regular massages, the Swedish, the deep tissue. Mm-hmm. Um, my background is in sports medicine. And that's how I got with the tape because I used to do sports medicine. I worked for athletes for a really long time, and Mm -hmm. I that's how I knew about the tape, um, about the kinesiology Mm -hmm. and kinesio taping. Okay. So I started doing that, and I always try to teach my entire staff on how to do good overall massages. Mm. We. We're always in continuing education. All of my therapists go in for the renewal, which actually is this year in August, next month. Okay. And yeah, in August 31st, we'll be renewing all of our license. All of my therapists have over 50 hours of continuing education. We're always moving with wow. all different things. So did you pass the MBLEX on the first try? I did what okay. nearly nearly, yeah. nearly nearly perfect um when i passed it you actually had to do mm-hmm. um it was 920 was your highest score mine's was not 918 really yes. i think you got to get like a 600 now or something like that yes. damn okay I, so she's an expert the thing is if i'm going to do something i'm going to do it right yes i don't like i don't for lack of a better word, I don't have to ask anything. Okay. All if right. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it good. I'm going to do it good. Yes. All right. So explain, right, what would make a person need a lymphatic massage? Well, anybody needs a lymphatic massage. Really? So that's just not like surgery? No. Remember, your your lymphatic system, it's overall is the switch of your body. Mm. When you go out drinking, the next morning, you wake up swollen. If Damn, you that's why I be swollen on them. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Um, that's why the bags under your eyes after you drink, the bags under your eyes, that's the dehydration. Um, your neck gets a little swollen. Okay. Right here um by your armpits. You start when oh. the day after you drink too much and you know your shirts kind of fit you tight. That's why I be so, like, sometimes when I be sleeping on this side, I be feel, I'm like, man, I'm like, what the hell is going on on this side? And uh, that's from the henny. That's from the henny, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anybody, okay, um, anybody, uh, acts. A matter of fact, this is what lymphatic massages was what started me in the in the massage industry. Mm-hmm. Because of my grandmother, my grandmother had. Um, I mean, you was telling, yeah. She had she had cancer, and her um, her liver and her kidneys were not functioning correctly. So after when that happened, they started to um, backtrack, mm-hmm. and she retained a lot of fluid. This mm. is what edema. Um, I heard of that edema. You, yeah, edema is inflammations of the fire. Um, it's overall, of the what. Of everything. It's okay. like it's excess fluid in the body. Okay. And okay. when you open up your, your lymph nodes that are all over all over your body, mm-hmm. that helps you release it and detoxify it. A lymphatic a lymphatic massage is not only for people that that get surgery. It's for anybody. Wow. As I thought m- that was just for the post op op no. type thing. I could actually show you a picture um, when we're done. When we were doing the video today mm-hmm. of the live of the dry massage after I put the tape on, when we took it off, my um, everything right here where she worked mm-hmm. and where she opened up my lymph nodes um, and my entire like my entire torso, you could see so you were drinking? all that information. No, I I had my women days. Oh. <laughs> Okay. And, you know, you get swollen yeah. during those times. Yeah. And as soon as I took off the tape, when we took off the tape, 
Mm-hmm. And we looked in the mirror. We were like, hold on. Let's look at the before and after of this. And you could see the difference. And it was only a 10-minute opening up my lymph nodes and just stimulating my torso. Wow. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to holla at you. Of course. Yeah. Because, you know, I ain't going to front. I still be drinking a little bit on the weekends. But then. Everybody does. Yeah. But I, I've noticed when I, like, like I said, when I sleep on the side, like mm-hmm. on this side, I feel like I'm like, why? Well, I, I don't know. I thought my arm was just getting bigger. But I guess now what you said. Um, remember, you have lymph nodes on your neck, your axillas, like right here by your armpit. Yeah. Your legs. In your groin area. Oh, and, okay. And um, right here on your sternum by your diaphragm, mm-hmm. that's where um, you get swollen after you drink that honey. Okay. <laughs> if you look at the indentation that you would have there, mm-hmm. it would no longer be there. Wow. Okay, so we might have to do like a little mini video, you know, like you a it? before and after. So what is a dry massage? Because I've seen that on your page. Yes. The dry massage is because after they do after they do the tape, you cannot put oil. Um, and when they go back home, they don't have they don't have our therapist there at home to take mm-hmm. care of them. So this is why I made actually a video of the dry massage is to be able to stimulate the lymphatic system mm. and make them drain and make their body metabolize the entire fluid, um, all of the excess fluid that it was created with the surgery and dispose of it. You dispose of it um, in three ways. Um, your sweat, um, your urine, and feces. Okay. Um, and this is because it makes your body metabolize all of that excess fluid and dispose of it. Okay, man, she got the knowledge out here. All right, all right, all right. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I noticed something else. I don't really see you guys, what they call it, like drape. Is that a reason for that? Or or, or is that is it something different when you do the it's, type of massages that you it's do? You different, it's different due to the fact that most of most of our girls wear um, the disposable underwears. Okay. And they don't they don't drape because they are um, they're very sensitive. Um, another of the reasons why we don't drape during mm-hmm. those massages is because with the sheets, um, most of these girls are draining, like physically draining. Because if they don't have a JP bulb. JP bulb. Uh, JP bulb is a drainage J um bulb that they put in during surgery. Mm-hmm. The incisions are sometimes open, and the girls drain on the on the sheets. Uh huh. So everything that we use is very disposable, so that we could sanitize before and after. Um, we don't drape because they they would need to have like an actual sheet like a fabric sheet okay 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 all right because i was wondering i was like okay they kind of exposed here yeah they right. are but they have um they have the disposable underwears that mm-hmm. helps them you know keep kind of like your purity okay the purity yes yeah. okay so what would you say are some like best ways to prepare before surgery the best ways to prepare before surgery would be diet, believe it or not, a detox before a lymphatic drainage before your surgery. Sorry, when you say detox, what do you mean? Like not eating? Eating the correct things. There's okay. a lot of there's a lot of things that you can eat that will detox your body and will make you dispose of it. Remember that after this is something that not many people know. Um pain pills are they will make you constipated Mm, okay because of the chemicals that they have to in um to enable the um the pain receptors Mm -hmm. it also dries out your stomach and it makes it makes the young ladies constipated okay so having being um, cleaned out and detox helps with 
the recovery, you're no, you're not uncomfortable. You're not uncomfortable. You're not bloated mm -hmm. and actually getting a lymphatic massage before your procedure. It's amazing due to the fact that, like I said, lymphatic massages also detox your body and it disposes everything okay. that your, that your body has at that moment. Mm -hmm. So you come out of surgery much better. Um, you come out of your anesthesia so much more alert and up and going. Okay. Everyone that we have done it for before mm -hmm. always comes back and tells us the same thing. Um, the the massage the the anesthesia doesn't hit them as hard because they did the lymphatic before. Because you no longer your body doesn't have to detoxify not only the toxins that are were already there but mm -hmm. also metabolize the anesthesia. Okay. Now all they have to do is just metabolize the anesthesia and take it out. Um, the, it, when you fast before surgery, you have nothing but water in your system. So that's better. That's much better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're getting the women prepared mentally for this. Yes. All right. It's it's, it's not easy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, from what I'm seeing, the bruises and this and that, you know, oh, yeah. even men are doing it now. I'm yes. saying, so, I mean, which I don't understand because I'm like, bro, you could, you see the lines over the stomach, but then it's like you still see some handles over here. So I'm like, bro, just hit the gym. You know, sometimes gym the gym doesn't do it all. No, that's true. Diet, diet, cut and, back and, on that Wendy's and, and Burger King. Oh yeah, that. Those are killers. Um, yeah. You know, Five Guys is... I never had them, but I heard they were good. I'm more a steak and shake kind of guy. Oh, yeah. you're, you're a Broward man. That's why. <laughs> yeah. We don't have steak and shake in Miami. Well, okay. yeah, we actually do. They do? Yes. Okay, on okay. Kendall. Okay, all right. No, I don't know. It's something... Their burgers are different. You know, is the, they're the only ones... They're the only ones that I can actually eat and still be okay, like, digestion-wise, you know? So, how would you separate yourself from your competitors? My main thing is taking care of my girls. And mm -hmm. I don't try to mimic anybody else's technique. Okay. I have my own. I And I set myself apart because I actually want to be better. I'm not here, like I told you, I... I haven't changed my prices in many, many years. Yeah. And I'm here to help my girls. Um, everybody wants to make a profit, but to me it's more important to be able to touch people's lives than actually make a profit. I don't I'm not going I'm not going into that little hole. Yeah. With, you know, with Scrooge. I don't want Yeah, yeah. You well you doing something because you know, you came here dolled up, you know, looking beautiful. Thank right. You. Of course, of course. So, have you ever had an unhappy customer and how have you handled them? Of course, everybody has unhappy customers. Remember, I'm mm -hmm. not I I I'm, like I say, I'm blonde but I'm not a golden coin, so not everybody's going to want me. Yeah. And not but not everybody's going to like me. Mm -hmm. That's one. Um customers are everybody's completely different. Mm -hmm. Maybe my approach to things i have no filter okay and direct i'm very direct okay i have um i have no bs i my bs meter is at zero because i don't i don't like it and i get very upset when i have therapists and other competitors that are not doing what they're supposed to mm -hmm. and sometimes when i say that to customers they they're like how dare you tell me that they effed me up i'm like because uh, they did <laughs> you you want me they to effed you up you want me you want me to tell you rainbows and lollipops yeah and rainbows and lollipops life is not rainbows and lollipops that's true that's true if you if you want me to cuddle you and hold your hand i could do it i am an amazing support um support animal mm -hmm. but if you want me to tell you what we need to do to get you to a better place yes i will tell you because 
my main goal is to get you to where you need to be. This is this is an investment, not only monetarily, but also emotionally and physically. Mm. Because the recovery itself takes about 52 weeks. Wow. It's an entire year. Your body, um, for three months, your lymph nodes do not reattach. So that's why you need to continue to get massages so that the swelling doesn't, um, the swell hell, which is what most of my girls call it. The, the swelling, swell hell. Yes. Okay. All right. The swelling doesn't come back. Yeah. Um, that's why they have to wear garments. And all of this is monetarily. Mm. Now they have to buy garments. They You're talking about like that faha thing? That Yes, sir. Okay. That right. little um, old school girdle. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, the, 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 the little trickster thing. I'm like, yep. hey, it's okay. But, you know, sometimes just let us see what it is. You know, you can't wear that and have it all tucked in and then. Hey. Like, eh, eh. Uh-huh. Come on. <laughs> let, let's be honest. How many, how many guys drive a Mercedes and still live with their mama? Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you that on the first day. You know, hey, I I live with my mom because I'm buying a multi unit. You know, I'm cutting back. You know, I don't drive a Mercedes. I drive a Nissan. But that is different. Like if we see it on the gram and it's, and then now you know and da 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 da. I was like, oh my god! Like at least give me a heads up. <laughs> if you look, if you look closely. You will see. You will see. You will see. Okay. The, um, the hooks of the. The, ho- <laughs> the hooks of. <laughs> come on, they they have little hooks. She said, like, "You'll see the hooks." You'll see the, the you know the. I, I yeah. The, the little bars. And yeah. Like that. So we got to make sure our you know uh, 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 eyes are open open. Exactly. You know. If okay. You, awesome. Social media holds as much as you put in there. Social yeah. media is like a credit card. <laughs> I love her analogies. You know, <laughs> social media is like a credit card. Yeah. You could swipe, 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 swipe. Mm-hmm. Then at the end, it's let's see how we're going to pay that. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> This was so wonderful. You know, thank you for coming through and clearing it up. No, I'm definitely going to be hitting you up because I'm not even going to front. I may need some little, you know, back here or back here somewhere, you know. But let everybody know how they can get in contact with you. Well, um, our telephone number for the office is 786-542-5006. But we are very active in instagram which is massage m-a-s-s-a-g-e dot by b-y underscore r-e-a-r-i tape queen and we have our email is also massage by ari 0421 at gmail.com and we're always open to getting as many questions as possible and clarifying and taking care of as much as we can okay and and you know i remember i sent you the earlier you got a fake page out there going she hey, hey give it <laughs> you know you going somewhere when you got the fake page i got a fake page and i got a lady in that we actually had to put a um like kind of like situation with facebook and instagram because wow. she was using my pictures that's cool in, um, all the way in London, she was using my pictures. And one of my girls saw it, and she sent it to me, and she's like, this is me. Because the page got like 2,000 something followers on it. I know. <laughs> I, guess, I guess they're famous. Hey. <laughs> I guess they're famous. Well, thank you, Ari, for coming through. This has been wonderful. It was definitely good to have you on the platform. It was a pleasure, and anytime you want, let's. Of course, yeah. No, you we definitely going to make that happen. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Williams. I talk gray, and we out of here. Yeah. <laughs>